Hello bookish friends, welcome back to Amanda's Bookish Adventures and this is my first full week vlog for spring equinox Aurelium. I think I said Aurelium Spring Equinox, that is. So I did, on the weekend vlog that you watched before this, I did finish four classes and I know on in at the end of that one I said I wasn't going to do any of the quest to get uh, points for your order but there was unlimited ones and I did do one so the one I did was the file weasel in danger and the prompt was read a book by an off a new to you author and I read under construction it is a memoir from Krishal I'm guessing how to pronounce the stars she is on Netflix selling sunset she is a realtor it was interesting I give it a four star it was an interesting probe it is midnight on early hours of Monday, so I thought I would tell you what class I am starting with. So the next, for my career, I'm going to try to stick to my career. I might try to, I did two extra last week and two for my career. So if you didn't watch that vlog, I'll recap, uh, recap. I did Elemental Studies. I read The Little Prince. And I did Restoration, The Pregnancy Proposition, and then Extra, I read Alchemy, Book Featuring Romance, Heartstopper Volume 4, and I did Inscription, Intimidating Read, I read Beast of Olympus. So with shape-shifting creatures with claws on the cover, I am going to read Dragon Queens. There is a dragon and it does have claws. So I will read you the back of the book. With her patrol intimate, the beautiful Princess Ava has gone missing. Where has she fled to? Why has she gone? And why is the dragon stirring? Enter our hero Gwen, who has been hunted, wanted criminals for years, collecting bounties to provide for her mother and brother since the death of their father. The promise of an armful of gold for bringing back the princess home is too good to ignore. But bringing her home doesn't solve anyone's problems. Gwen still has a family to support, and Ava still has a miserable marriage to look forward to. How will they get over these hurdles, and what about the new ones they will create along the way? So I know it's their romance, and it's sapphic, and I adore it. I do have another sapphic book on my TBR for one of my classes. I have heard nothing about this book. So I was shopping, doing a book list for my family, and I I got a couple sapphic romances, I got a couple romances, I got a couple fantasies. And this, Amazon recommended it, and I was like, sold, I want it. So yes, I am a little fearful that I might not like it. The one thing I don't like on Goodreads, it doesn't do the page count, so I'm going to have to, because it only has it for like the Kindle, even though this is the paperback, so when I get done, I'm going to have to write down the pages off of Amazon, because I do a total of how many pages I read at the end of the month. But other than that, I am nervous because I haven't, I think this is a debut, I'm not sure, because I've not heard of this author, I have not seen no marketing for this, so that is the first class I'm going to start if I do any more quests because there were a couple other unlimited I don't know how long if they're like a day quest or something because there was another one that I could potentially do but other than that I think I'm just going to focus on my classes so that's the one I'm starting with this week I have one more digital I need to read on this list off of Libby from one of the classes for my career and I have two more physical books and then I have extra books I'm going to get and then I'm going to try to do the other classes. But like I said, welcome to the vlog. I'm going to update you when I get about halfway, I think. Because it's such a small book, halfway feels reasonable to me. Alright, so I'll see you in a little bit. I have nothing planned today on Monday, so I might just stay up and read. So it is 3 a.m. on Tuesday. So on Monday, the early hours of Monday, I got to page 70 of the book and put it down because I had errands and I stayed up for the errands and at, then around 11 I fell asleep. I have errands again today, but um, I am on 150, 61 of Dragon Queens. And so I can kind of tell you my rating and I'm giving it a three star for the writing and I'm going to give it a four star another star for enjoyment but 
that might change. So far, it's kind of looking at like 3.75. 3 so that's why I would round it up to a four star. I am enjoying it. This book needed a lot of polishes. It needed to be edited a couple times. It, I do believe this is her debut. I am interested in the writing, so she wrote another book. I would go into that book too. I also plan on keeping this because I would reread it because there are some... I am enjoying it. But, like I said, it needs to be polished. There's a lot of tropes going on. Marriage of convenience, and there's not a lot of feelings talking. It is a sapphic romance. That's why I wanted it. I was like, oh, sapphic romance, princess, dragons. I was so, but it needed a couple edits. It's a debut. I am happy. I'm going to keep it. And I am enjoying it. It's just, yeah. But otherwise, it is a pretty book cover. And I do think the writing, the author has time to improve her craft because it, I do believe it's her first book because on Goodreads this is her first book so we'll kind of see I'm not judging it because there is enjoyment but I it just it needed to be a, gone through a couple more drafts but I am enjoying it so the next class I'm going to take is Conjuration and that is I believe I don't have my notes on me is uh, a book that has a light on the cover so I have the digital book wait for it at Libby but I am going to the library today other so I do have some errands to go license my dog we're gonna go to the library and I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up Laura of Olympus and I'm gonna use that for lore but the love hypothesis did come and I pro those because I've been on wait list for a while for them so I probably will end up having to read them so I might have to read them before wait for it so I can return them but I do think I'm going to use the love hypothesis. I don't have the notes on it, but I'm going to use that for the earth setting. I don't know what class that's for right now. Excuse me. I don't know what class that is for for right now, but I do know one has earth setting and that is a book that has an earth setting. So extra classes. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Once I finish this, this book will be the third for my career. I might wait to start, wait for it. I might start it and then to finish it tomorrow and then read the extra books and maybe this weekend pick up one more book for, I think I only have a couple left for my career and then we can kind of figure out extra books I'm gonna read throughout the month but I am actually pretty happy because I'm doing good I still get to play my switch I'm kind of trying to approve my schedule I did get a new game so I've been really on that when I was sick and I couldn't even lay up. I had that like sitting up over here and I was playing that I should I could have read on my phone but I just didn't want to read but so reading this month has been good so far all right so I'll probably update you when I finish Dragon Queens and give you my thought overall and kind of do a review for it but yeah I'll update you when that's done Hi. so I have finished Dragon Queens and I am gonna give it a four star so the first half I do think needed to be edited more polish but the second half of this book was awesome it was absolutely amazing it was good the writing was good I didn't have a problem with the second half just the way it started so I'm gonna give it a four star absolutely enjoyed it I did read at the end of the back of the book that she doesn't know she's gonna write another book but I'm gonna write a review on Goodreads and I don't know if a lot of people know about this because I all what on the back of the book said is like a link to her email and her Twitter. But I did enjoy it. It was good. I just had a problem with the start of the book. Um, I don't know if I'll pick anything else up. I probably will, after we go to the library, I'm probably going to go to bed. And then I will probably pick up Lore of Olympus for and if Lore. The notes are in the room. Um, and then... Yeah, we'll go from there, but I will at least, what I'm trying to hope for the rest of the week is get one more class that I need for my career in this vlog. Read a book for that class in this vlog. I know I'm going to read extras, but I do want to at least read two a week 
for my career, but I did read two with the weekend vlog, and if I read two this week, that's four, that means I only have one more book left. All right, well, I will update you, I think tomorrow is probably when I'll pick something else up, or if I start lore, but honestly, oh, I do have exciting news. Today is my dog Lou's fifth birthday. April 5th is his birthday, and I knew it was coming. I just didn't realize today was April 5th, so he's five years old. Kind of crazy. But we're going to give him some love and maybe go get him a pop cup uh, when they open. But, yeah. So, I will see you tomorrow. Okay, so it is the early hours of Wednesday. I did not read Wait for It, and we didn't go to the library. We're kind of going today, but... I did do an extra class. I did Spells and Incantation Short Read. I read Cinderella, and it was a different version than Disney. Uh, it was 32 pages, and it's by K. The Craft, and the artwork was gorgeous. It was a children's story, but it was so short, and it works, and it, I just absolutely, it was just something I needed, something short, and it was fun. And I adored it. I don't know what I'm going to read next because I really kind of want to read Lore of Olympus and The Love Hypothesis. But I know last night I said I have two more books for my career. I have three. I have Wait For It, Delilah Green Doesn't Care, and Hate for other classes. But I think I'm going to stretch it out and try to kind of do some extra classes this week. I know I did finish. What did I finish? When I, I finished shape, shape shifting creature with claws and we're still at the, we're on April 6th, so I can kind of slow down with my classes. I really, really want to read Hate, but I have a feeling I'm going to binge the series. So, I don't know, maybe I'll read Wait For It, that's for one of my career, maybe I'll read one of my physical reads that I still have left. I do have a, re a book that I'm that I was reading for Aurelium, uh, Queen of Shadows, and then I got sick and I couldn't finish it, so I'm going to use it for Demonology because I got halfway and I did not finish that. But I did get some book mail last night, and I just didn't update you. So I went to the mailbox because sometimes we don't get mail, and then we'll just get a bunch for days. But a couple months ago, J.K. Noble reached out to me on Instagram and said, do you want my book? And it got here. She addressed it. So I thought I would show it. I like the cover. I'll probably talk more about it in my next haul. I know April, you already have a haul, but I'm kind of collect. I, I don't know when the next haul is because I like to do it when I have like four or five books and I only have got two so far. But yeah, I just figured I'd show you some book mail. All right. So I think I'll just update you when I start something, I don't know. Or maybe when I'm halfway with something, I just, I don't know. Maybe I'll just plan my switch for the night. I don't know, I'm just kind of in a weird mood. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you later, today on Wednesday. If not, I'll see you, talk to you on Thursday. I am babysitting on Saturday, so I'm trying to get as much reading time as I can because it's gonna be a very, it's going to be a couple hours worth of babysitting, so I'm trying to babysit now. And last weekend with the vlog, I did watch the kids, but it's when they were asleep. This is during the day, so I won't be able to read anything. But I'm really excited to I don't know, go to the library. I really have wanted to read Laura Olympus, and I want to check out what the love hypothesis is. And I'm... I might do all the classes. I'm kind of stuck. I do have books that are sci-fi that are set in the future, but I don't want to add a lot of big books to my TBR because I at least need to finish my main core classes. But I'm just not, I really want to read the extra two books. So maybe I'll just pick up another short read and see off of Libby or something to see if I could get that for a class, but I'll just update you when I finish or get halfway. So it's the early hours on Thursday and I didn't know what I was gonna read next. I want to read my physical TBR, but I really wanted to read Lore of Olympus. 
Lore Olympus. I think it should be Lore of Olympus, but it's Lore Olympus. So I scrolled on Libby and I found Savage Sun, which had a sun on it and sun in the title. It was a historic romance, which helped with conjuration source of light on the cover. I gave it a three star. It was good. It came out in 2009 and there was a lot of problems. It could have been, honestly, I felt like it could have been flushed out. Like there could have been a hundred more pages added just to add more plot. And it is about Rowan, her Rowena. Her father died in the Civil War and his best friend him made a promise that because he died, the father, her father died and for his best friend. He made him a promise he'd take care of Rowena. Well, they, she comes to Arizona <clears throat> and there are problems. She does not feel comfortable there. There are issues in that house that she's staying at. And then she meets Tall Moon. In my head, I kept calling him Tall Man because my dyslexic brain wanted to. But I had to correct it. It is their romance. They, it was very quick. Like, it wasn't even a flushed out romance. It was insta-love, which drove me nuts. I like a good historical, like, will they, won't they, or like the build of the scandal or stuff. But it was a Western historic romance. And I did enjoy it. I, but I had a couple pet peeves. It was enjoyable. I don't know if I would go out of my way to buy it. I don't know if I'd go out of my way to, if like it popped up that maybe had another one of the books maybe but I don't know if I would go in the way out of my way to continue the series I did have a pet peeve because the way she played at first I thought it was the mistake like someone didn't catch it so pleasure she she put a space in the between pleasure so it was like p-l-e-a space sure so it's like pleasure because it was spaced and I know the word is pleasure and I I was like okay once and the whole entire book, whenever that word came up, it was spaced. Drove me nuts. So I'm not very good when my plans change. So we were going to, the, I did go to the library today, but I'm kind of frustrated. So our neighbors were getting new appliances. And yeah, that's totally fine. They parked behind our driveway. We can't get out because you have to back up in my driveway to get out. And we're on the corner and they were parked in a line so we couldn't even do it and they did one of the cars moved so one of them went to work and then we were able to get out and I was excited they were getting new appliances but it was it's very annoying when people park behind my driveway and it tends to it doesn't happen all the time but it does tend to happen and then I get really frustrated but I got Lord Olympus and the love hypothesis so I don't, on the top of my head, I do not know what class I'm going to use this for. I know it's earth setting. I'm going to write the class out in a minute. But I do know what lore Olympus is. It's for lore. The class, it's for an extra class. Lore, mythology inspired. So I'm going to read lore because I'm so excited. Lore of Olympus. It should be of. In my head, it should be lore of Olympus. But it's lore Olympus. It drives me nuts. It is a webtoon novel that got, because of how popular it is on webtoons, it got a printed format. And I hope they eventually end up doing that because that's a lot of money for these creators. Plus a lot of this, I hate reading off the apps. I would want a physical version or like, I would even buy this, a Kindle version if I could, because it's so annoying to read off their app and read like this. But I digress. So I am going to read this and then... I, when I get done, I'll update you. It is about Persephone's and she's a sacred version. She comes to Olympus. She's been raised in the human realm. She comes to Olympus to learn her powers and it's Hades, how she deals with the gods. She knows nothing. She was kind of raised in the human realm and her and Hades, she meets Hades and everything changes and I am really excited. All right, so I'm gonna get on cracking reading this and just chill and I hopefully this is higher rating I think it will be but hopefully it'll be higher rating than a three so I just finished lore olympus and let me pick it up everything's trying to fall of course I love this I want to own it I checked it out for the library I'm very cautious of trying to read from the library to save myself money but I adored this. This is going on one of my top of the year. 
it was absolutely amazing. And two more volumes are being published this year, one in May or July, and I think the one in October. I cannot believe how good that was for a graphic novel. Yes, I have favorite graphic novel series, but that was amazing. It's probably the best. I hate to say this because I felt like I said in the first vlog that Heartstopper Volume 4, it was so amazing. It's probably my favorite of the graphic novel of the year. Olympus, Lore Olympus, Volume 1 blew that out of the water. I cannot say the interaction with Hades and Persephone and her and the other characters, I love them in a contemporary setting. I loved seeing Hades in a good re um, relationship with his brothers, uh, Zeus and Poseidon. I love that. I love seeing Hera. Hera was the bomb. I, I don't know what it is, but I'm, I love Hermes too. Like it was in Neon Gods. I was like, I want a story about Hermes by Katie Robert. And then in this one, I'm like, I want Hermes. I just love it. This was so amazing. I don't think I have more words to say than that. It is about Persephone going to school in Olympus. Her mother finally let her leave to go to school to become a sacred thing, a sacred being, and they have to be a virgin. And there, it is a lot. It's dark too, but I like that it had the trigger warnings and it explained and and I cannot wait to see what happens in volume two and three. I could go to webtoons, but like I said, I hate reading off webtoons. But yes, yeah, so that helps my class for my extra class with lore, lore of Olympus, class with mythology. So art, I don't know if I'm saying this, art efficiency, sun, earth setting, a book with an earth setting. So that is what I'm going to use the love hypothesis for. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to digest my feelings for Lore Olympus. I just think I have to digest it because that was so good. It was so amazing. I just, I can't. So I have took an extra class, Artificially Sun or Setting. I have finished the Love Hypothesis. It is about Olive and Adam. So Olive is uh, getting her PhD. And she went on a couple dates with this guy, Jeremy. And things didn't end up working out. Him and her best friend had a connection. And so she lied to her friend, said she was going on a date, trying to ease so her friend will start dating him because she really likes him. Well, her friend walks up and she's supposed to be on the date. So she ends up kissing Adam, who is a professor there. And it is a fake dating trope. It's their romance. Adam... Base, she comes to him and tells him like people know and then he's like well it could kind of work out for me I kind of need I'm considered I kind of need it too for my job so people think I'm that I'll stay so yeah it's very good it's their relationship Adam is so caring for Olive he's encouraging he's caring and Olive helps him get him out of his comfort zone and it was sweet and caring and I wish there was a novella that I could get in straight in with these characters to see like 10 years in the future what happened. But there is a sea companion to this and I do believe Ali Hazelwood has also done other romance novellas, three of them I believe, about STEM and this is a STEM romance and we need that. So I think I'm going to end the vlog. It's like 5 a.m. on Friday. I'm working on Saturday so I don't think I'm going to read anything at all. And I might do a quest on Sunday if, the, if there's one I can join. But if I read anything, I, I'm i just not going to read anything else for the really am read readathon right now. I will just talk about it in my mid-month wrap-up if I finish anything. So let's kind of talk about the classes I took this week. So I have finished Shape Shifting, Creature with Claws, Dragon Queens. Four, that was four stars. Conjuration, Source of Light on the cover. Savage Sun, three stars. Lore, Mythology Inspired. Lore, Olympus, five stars. That was an extra class. And here's another. Artificially Sun or Setting Love Hypothesis. Five stars. It is worth the hype. So I have two more books from my career, which I'm just going to read in next week's vlog, which I'm really excited to get to. 
uh, that is it for this video. I will definitely see you in another video soon. Not another vlog. I mean, you had two this week. And then I guess I'll see you in next week's vlog. I'll just see you in the next vlog. All right, bye.